welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick review on the new Desi Perkins Times Key Australia, the new high key sunglasses she put out. They're not new, but she did put out a couple new lenses. Um, and with the most latest release, I picked up the gold frames with the gold mirrored lens. And these have gotten so popular, I figured I would just do a video on how I feel about them and kind of my first initial impressions. Um, so right off the bat, I'm absolutely obsessed with this packaging. It's a clear plastic case with a magnetic closure there. And I love the fact that it's magnetic because you don't have to push on the sunglass to get the magnet or to get the um, snap to close, which is just like the little things, you know? Um, and I love how they look so much with the glasses inside that I've actually been like leaving them out on my vanity just for decoration because I think they just look so cool. Um, so definitely two thumbs up on the packaging. So I was like had a really good first impression when I initially opened them. Um, so they definitely feel... They run about $60, and I mean, you can tell they're not 200 plus sunglasses. Like, they do have a lighter feel to the um, hardware. It just has a, it has a light feel, which is nice because they don't weigh your face down, but it definitely does feel like a little bit of a cheaper material than maybe a very high-end sunglass, but that's totally expected given the price point, I think. Um, so let me put them on. So my initial, like when I first put them on, I was like, oh my God, they are way too big for my face. Um, they look goofy, they look silly, but the more I wore them, the more I completely fell in love with the shape and size. I love how oversized they are. I think, I think it's just the coolest look. It's very on trend right now. And I, so I was like, okay, I can work with the shape. But for those of you with smaller or more narrow heads, I just do caution you that these are gonna have a much bigger oversized look on you than um, they might look on somebody with like a larger head, obviously. Um, so just be aware of that. If you do not like the oversized trend, you might wanna pass on these because these are very oversized. They aren't like a normal size sunglass for your face. Um, so what I was hoping for with these sunglasses, I love the mirrored lens. That was one thing that I like really, really liked about these and one of the reasons I decided to purchase them after after a couple releases, I had been thinking about it, thinking about it, and I finally decided to take the plunge. And I was like, well, I really want a sunglass with a mirrored lens. Um, when I bought them, I was thinking in my mind that they were, since they were gold, the lens was gonna have a gold tint to, so when you look out of the sunglasses, I was hoping everything would have like a little bit of an orangey hue because I've really been looking for a sunglass that has a lighter lens for like cloudy days because I have really sensitive eyes and I really still need to wear sunglasses even when it's cloudy and sometimes even raining outside, I still really like to wear sunglasses. So I was really hoping that these were gonna have a bronzy yellow tinted lens, but no, they do not have that. They have a regular dark sort of black or gray tinted lens. So when you look out of them, everything is darker, but it's not necessarily colored in any way, if that makes sense. Um, with the mirrored part of the lens, you can, in certain angles, see your eyes through them. So they're not 100% opaque. More often than not, you're not going to be able to see your eyes through them, but just be aware that certain like angles, you can see your eyes. So if that's a deal breaker for you, just be aware of that. Uh, I would say in terms of the darkness, um, it's not my darkest lens which I really like because I hate when a lens is so dark that you can only wear them on the brightest of brightest days or else everything's like blackened out. Um, I would say it's like mid darkness, which is nice because I feel like I can get away with it on more of a cloudy day or a day that's not super glaringly bright. Um, because they aren't polarized, you're still gonna get a glare from the sun, which means like if the sun is directly in your face, you're probably still gonna have to squint a little bit because you're still gonna get that glare from the sun. It doesn't cut that out and I think the only way that happens is if you purchase a polarized lens which is much much more expensive so these are not polarized and they have a lower price point so obviously they're not going to have all those like bells and whistles that a really fancy sunglass would have but that is totally fine for me i don't mind that i don't plan on wearing them if i'm going to be in like super super bright sunshine all day because i would tend to get a headache i would need a darker lens that polarized the sun um, but overall, I'm like really obsessed with these sunglasses. I absolutely love them. I love the shape. I love how they're oversized. Um, I love the mirrored lens. I think they sit nice on the face. So they do sit a little bit lower on your nose. That's just the style. So I tend to push them up a lot because I, 
I don't like when they sit low, it like distracts my eyes and I like when I can't see the top of the sunglass. So I do push them up frequently, but they do sit lower on the nose and that's just the style that they are and that's fine. Um, I did mention the hardware earlier, how it has a little bit of a lighter feel, but again, I like that because it doesn't sit too heavy on your the bridge of your nose and it doesn't give you like headaches and things like that. Um, so, you know, long story short, I really, really like these sunglasses. I'm so happy I finally purchased them. Um, they're just an awesome addition to your collection and I feel like they kind of like complete an outfit. Like they just make me feel really cool and hip and on trend and um, with a bright lip or a bold lip I think you can just look so cool walking around the city or doing errands or whatever. Um, so I'm really really happy with this purchase and I don't know I hope that video was helpful for you guys and let me know if you've purchased the high keys down below and what you think about them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. So the one last thing I want to mention really quickly, I just got reminded, is because the lens is mirrored, every little fingerprint will show up. So I'm like constantly cleaning these off with like my shirt or the little, uh, it did come with a little one of these, which I haven't been keeping in the case because I don't like how you can see it through the clear case. I've just been keeping it like in my vanity, but you are going to have to wipe off the fingerprints a lot on this mirrored lens. Just, just a little tidbit.